Geoscientist Canada basically brings together all the regulatory organizations for professional geoscientists across Canada. By the late 60s, early 70s, the Geological Association of Canada made an effort to try and have the designation of Fellow of the Geological Association of Canada recognized as a profession. The one that really, really comes to the fore with the driving force behind us is, is Dr. Gordon Williams from Alberta. He was the genius behind it all. I was just the secretary recording what was going on. So in 1995, we broke from the Canadian Geoscience Council and started the process to form what is now Geoscientist Canada. The Canadian Council of Professional Geoscientists was our first name. It's a board made up of representatives from each uh, province and territory, and, and each, each association that's a member uh, has a seat on the board. Uh, having this national forum for the professional regulators has allowed the sort of regulation of the profession to become more uniform across the country. It also gives you a national voice to speak to the federal government, which is very important. They've brought about alignment of fair registration practices and managed concerns over the mobility of geoscientists who practice in multiple jurisdictions. When uh, they hired their first executive uh, officer, um, Ollie Bonham, that, that was really a, a sort of watershed moment. I think the biggest achievement that Geoscience Canada has done is to bring the standards to a national level so that you have a very, very good knowledge and experience guideline. It details a list of courses that they need to have to acquire professional registration on entry to practice. We then developed a new logo and a new look and a feel, revitalized the website. It allowed it, us to interact with our counterparts around the world in developing a program for the conference, getting together an event. Uh, that showcased Canada. In harmonizing and standardizing things across the country, it helps in terms of uh, supporting those efforts to have standardized programs and to help with mobility of practitioners across the country. Uh, 
Another satisfying one was going through an existential crisis of what was Geoscientist Canada's purpose and then sitting down, reworking the mission vision and really hashing out why this organization existed. I think that it has an excellent leader right now with Andrea, who has a lot of drive and energy. In 2019, we partnered with Geoscientist Canada to help facilitate their Pan-Canadian Geoscience Competency-Based Assessment, CBA, pilot. This project brings us one step closer to having a consistent national approach for evaluating experience for geoscience applicants. So will be ongoing efforts to sort of develop that further and to make mobility more accessible to practitioners. We were concerned that when the baby boomers like me started to retire, membership would go down. Well, in fact, it continues to go up. If you look at things like uh, gender diversity, all the new registrants about 50-50 female. It will truly become that place to go to find out what professional geoscientists think about any topic. One of the things I'm proud of is that geoscientists in Canada and the role and, and how we're regulated in Canada and the model here in Canada is well respected internationally. They have helped to raise the profile of the profession and work tirelessly to make sure Canadians are served by skilled, versatile and accountable geoscience professionals. I see this as, a, as an organization that's going to be uh, running very well, well into the future. This anniversary is a wonderful milestone to be celebrating and an achievement that Geoscientist Canada should be very proud of. Thank you.